In order to better understand the difference between bosons and fermions, we will now take a look at the complex phase. We will begin with the simplest state, namely J equals zero. We associate a rotating wheel with each angle, with constant radius. Yet what about the phase? The phase can take any value, without the probability being changed. We are modeling these different phases for each solid angle using a paper strip. The direction of the arrows on the paper strip indicates the phase at the corresponding angle. Cut open, the constant phase in the paper strip model simply looks like this. The simplest change of the topology of the phase is one twist. We can twist either clockwise or anti-clockwise. The superposition of the phases of the clockwise and anti-clockwise twist correspond to the sum of e to the power of plus and minus i times phi half. That is cosine of phi half. What happens if we first cut open the paper strip of the state j equals zero, then twist it, then glue it together again? Topologically speaking, a Möbius strip thus arises. The Möbius strip has only one surface. Following a rotation through 360 degrees, we arrive at the reverse side, and only after 720 degrees do you get back to where you started. The superposition of the clockwise and anti-clockwise Möbius strip again leads to cosine phi half, where the angle phi runs from 0 degrees to 720 degrees. In such a way, the double-valuedness of the spin state with a single nodal point emerges. If we repeat the cutting open, twisting, and gluing together operations, all other spin states can be constructed, starting with the state j equals zero, with trivial topology. The fermions, with an odd number of twists, are all Möbius strips with only one surface. In contrast to the bosons, which have an even number of twists. This is the main difference of the phase of the quantum states from bosons and fermions. Only the fermions completely fill up the 720 degree space. The bosons are already satisfied with 360 degrees.